Hi, Michelle here at Thrifting 101. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. I'm glad you're stopping in. Sunday Fun Day Video Thrift Haul. On my way to the post office the other day and I spotted a new thrift store. It's a little off the road. It's a charitable thrift store run by a church, but kind of small from the outside, but it was really huge. And I went in and I was able to find a set of five. I paid $1.50 for them. They're made by the Tierra Company. And um, they're actually called club ashtrays. A lot of people sell them online as nut trays. They have a nice floor de lis sandwich pattern about them. Tierra produced these between 1971 and 1989, and I'm gonna ask $15 free ship for all five. I was at the Enjoy thrift store, and I found four of these, and I knew they were Libby. You can't probably pick this up on camera here. You probably can't see it, but it does have the L on there. Knew they were Libby, and uh, I passed on them. I don't know why. I went home and I did a little research on them, and I ran back to get them because they're actually a very rare pattern, and luckily, there were eight of them instead of four. They're made by Libby, as I said. The pattern is called Turquoise Concord. They were marketed as a hostess set in 1964. They have a decal pattern on them. They also make them in a cranberry dot, which the cranberry dots are pretty much more common than the turquoise ones. The cranberry ones sell really, really well, and the turquoise ones sell much better because they're very, very hard to find. I'm going to sell them off at in four excuse me, in two sets of four for $30 each. Pick this up half price, pay 25 cents for it. I like my little Christmas glass. It's, it's a Coca-Cola classic glass, um, probably the 1980s. And if you could see, I think you probably saw it in the beginning, it says Macquarie Stores. So I think it was produced for McCrory, and we had McCrory's in Connecticut. It was a nice five and dime store. I don't even know if they're still around, but like I said, it's in perfect, perfect condition, and I'm going to ask $5 for it. Picked up a gorgeous set of six. They're champagne or sherbet glasses. They're iridescent. The pattern is called Smooth Rays. They were made by Indiana Glass Company, and they were made, well, they started producing this pattern in 1909. I believe these are circa 1920. I'm gonna ask 20 to $25 for the set. Other companies also made what they call the smooth ray pattern, although they vary, all vary slightly. Uh, Dugan made them, Fenton made them, Northwood, and Westmoreland also produced versions of this pattern. And if you've seen before, this is one of my favorite bowls. This is also the smooth ray pattern by Imperial. They're not marked at all. A few videos back I found these refrigerator dishes. They're 1932 Anchor Hocking Repro. They were not produced in 1932. Um, like I said, they're a repro. I think they were produced about 15 years ago. I did find one with the top, which I kept and I loved, and it's right here. And I have it filled right now with homemade bread crumbs, excuse me. This one, I never found the lid. Every time I would go in, I would see the sitting there, but uh, I couldn't find the lid. So I waited for it to go half price, picked it up for 50 cents, and I'm going to list this one for $5. I found this really cool set of six punch cups, I believe they are. And I'm calling them mystery punch cups because... I couldn't find any information out there. I think they're Indiana because I've seen Indiana do a yellow flash. It says a gorgeous yellow flash on it in the King's thumbprint. Um, but I can't find anything on these. I even put them out to a few of my groups and a few of my knowledgeable friends and nobody's come up with anything on these. I'm thinking that they are early 20th century and that they are punch cups and part of the set. I am going to listen for, um, I'm not quite sure because I have nothing to compare them to, but 
50 cents a glass. I'm going to probably ask 2025. If anybody out there has seen these, uh, please let me know what they are because I'm having a real hard time finding them. I picked up this gorgeous set for $24.99 at the Promise Thrift Store. That's the place where I bought all that gorgeous um, Franciscan tulip tie. I, I pay up a little bit at this store, but it's worth it if I find really good stuff, as I did right here. This is Italian pottery produced in 1986. The company is called Vietre. I hope that's right, Vietre. Um, the pattern is called Colore, and as you can see, they're, they're all hand-painted. They vary quite a little bit from piece to piece. I just love the colors and I did a little rundown of what I'm going to charge for each piece. I'm going to list the creamer and the covered sugar ball as a set right here, which makes sense. And I'm going to ask, I think 35, about $35 for the set. These larger rim balls actually sell for about $25 on eBay. So it's a good find right there. It's going to pay for the entire set. They made candlesticks in a seven and a half inch, which is what these were, and also a 10 inch. And actually the seven and a half sell for a little more than the larger ones. I'm gonna ask, I think $50 for the pair. They made two different sets of salt and pepper shakers. I can't really tell the difference, except that I know this one is a little more expensive. You can see it's got the holes right there and they're signed Italy. And I'm going to ask $20 for these salt and pepper shakers. And to tell you the truth, because it only says Italy here, and it only says Italy here, I can tell you that the pattern, these were all marked 1986, but they did make the pattern from 1986 to 2004. So these could fall in anywhere in that time frame. When I was going through the box after I had emptied all this out, the next day I noticed that um, I forgot to take this one out. So I have actually two bud vases here and I'm gonna ask $20 for this one right here. And to tell you the truth, um, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna ask for this one because I didn't get it into my notes in time, but I'm sure I'll, I'll get 15 to $20 probably for that one also. This, I believe, is a 52-ounce pitcher. It's extremely heavy and they sell for about $50 on eBay, but I did notice when I got it home, it just has a tiny little chip on the bottom. So I'll probably ask $35 for it. I paid 50 cents for each one of these. They're Wexford smoke, smoke Wexford. And you've probably seen a lot of Wexford patterns. They come in mostly clear, clear is everywhere, but they also come in teal and blue and a few other colors. The smoke is, I find harder to find. They're all in mint condition. I'm gonna ask $25 uh, for the lot of them. They produce Wexford, like I've said before, it had a really long run, 1962 to 1998, anchor hawking. This is a set here of 1950s Anchor Hawking Boopy Candle Tapers. They're also known originally as Berwick, but they dropped the Berwick and now everybody knows them as Boopy. I waited for them to go half price, so I paid a dollar for the pair. A lot of people confuse Boopy with Candlewick, Indiana Candlewick, which has to do about the balls here or the beads. The Candlewick ones, the beads are much smaller and they're spaced a little farther apart than these. So that's how you can tell that they're anchor hawking if the bead is a lot bigger. I'm going to ask $8 for the pair. Picked up a set of seven balls. They're Pyrex. Uh, I paid $7 for seven balls. They have a really nice design on the outside. The pattern is called Festiva Spring Green, and that's exactly what they reminded me of, spring. They're in really nice condition. They produce these between 2001 and 2004. $7 for seven bowls. I'm going to ask $30 for the set. They're Corel Corning coordinates, or Pyrex coordinates. Picked up this chip bowl for 50 cents. Looks like it could be Indiana or Bartlett Collins. It's Coke. It says it's a Coke promo. It's got 
all sorts of nice um, lettering on it. It's all in good shape. It's all decals. When I went to look up who the maker was, it just said it was made by so many different manufacturers that they didn't even say. But it looks like it could be an Indiana or a Bartlett Collins mold. I know other people made them also. It does have a flea bite right here. It might look like a um, like a chip, but it's not. And flea bites are fairly common in older pieces. It shouldn't affect the value. They sell for about $5. I might even just hang on to it because it's a, just a cool chip bowl to have. I did want to mention that the shirt is still part of that $8 bag. I still have a few more to go. And I did also want to mention that we put up these gorgeous floating shelves here so I could better display some of my Pyrex and some of my Jadeite. I thought it would take a lot of stuff out of the uh, hutch here so I could put other things in there, but I guess I didn't realize just how much stuff I had in that hutch because I was not able to put a whole lot more in there or actually anything at all. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and most importantly to me, leave a message. Thanks again, and we'll see you real soon.